We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. So this was Chesapeake City. We met some awesome people there. Oh. Oh, I can't see it anymore, but we met some cool people at the local Chesapeake's restaurant this morning. Waiting for the rain to dissipate, but it's not happening. So we had to untie in the rain from the pylons. And thank goodness it went smooth because we're not good at it. So we didn't want it. You pop right in front of the restaurant. So everybody obviously sits and looks out. And I think we handled ourselves okay. This is a cute picture rest little village. 786 people as was determined in 2018. Oh, there is the restaurant that we went to this morning. So I don't think it's grown much since. Since COVID, it might easily have gone down a bit. So winter is approaching. We can see the coloring of the trees. It looks amazing. Not looking forward to the cold, but what a pretty picture. The United States of America, we're in the Chesapeake area. And it is now early September. So it's in the fall. For us in South Africa, this is the colourful time. Our flowers are blooming, summer is approaching, and everybody's just got the blue on. Approaching our next anchorage. Look how beautiful. It reminds us of Maine. But these are beautiful big green lawns. Now we understand why everybody is ranting and raving about Chesapeake. Look at that. It is so beautiful. So we're approaching Frederick Town. Lots of boats around. And they have one restaurant which closes in one hour's time at 8 o'clock. The previous places closes at 10 o'clock, but this one obviously rolls up the carpet at 8 o'clock. But this is so cool. This is really beautiful. George Town. Google Maps, it's it's George Yat. That's George Town Yat. Georgetown is on the other side of the river. Uh, could be. So we approach. It's a gorgeous building. And there's moss growing on the roof. So we're not quite sure where we should park Tipex. There's a restaurant entrance. There's an arrow on that door there that shows right. So I think we can dock here. Let's do this. Okay. Are we going to do it around the ladder? Ready, Captain? 
time ready, so you want me to get off first? Yes, let's see, see your whether, let's see your tush. Whether I am make it or not. You made it. <laughs> you look like a stick man. <laughs> so this such a jewel of a place. Just a complete wooden bar. So this guy knows Afrikaans. I know. Your mother puts in a fish face jar. <laughs> <laughs> See the boat ramps all have lifts <laughs> then you know it's getting cold like ice cold look all these boats are up in the air such a beautiful scenery yeah we're in the Sassafras River of Creek very very pretty Now we're in Swan Creek at the moment in Chesapeake. So we're going to go through there around the corner. And the map shows there is space to anchor, but we'll see how many boats there actually are because 90% of the time the people don't put the AIS as well. It shows one boat at this stage, so hopefully there is space for us. in Swan Creek or Swan River Creek but everywhere you see these little hideouts that's covered in in leaves and stuff so I think it's probably bird lookouts but they everywhere so I hope tomorrow morning early we're gonna see some awesome birds waking up and probably hopefully hear them as well but there's a lot of marinas around here mm. There's a marina and all the there two more marinas and it's the captain B day tomorrow. Okay, so we've just established this is Haven Harbor Resort and Marina up ahead. So I don't know if it's all one place. But there's a fuel dock. <laughs> this boat's name is Passing Wind. Must be a stinky affair. That's what came in a shot. But this looks like a very neat marina. 
floating docks, our kind of docks. Haven Harbour. And this is the fuel dock, so we will have to come in here and somehow turn sideways. It's like that dock in Marmaris, remember, when we were right at the end of the dock? So this is going to take some going to take some doing getting in here. Okay, so this is normally Frick's line. We tied Tipex here. And now we're going to go look for a grocery store. So it looks like we're in a boatyard come... Oh. Very neat and pretty here. Okay. We get to the main road and then turn left. This is a pretty little town and over here is the Rock Hall Water Museum. Closed at this hour. It is. This door has not been opened for a long time. I think this museum is a museum piece too. <laughs> so this is Haven Harbor. Okay, that is Haven Harbor down there. So we're just leaving it now. Nice and sunny today. Very different from last night. And it was all lightning and rain and and it's pretty <laughs> everywhere. It's just shallow. You have to follow a very very narrow route to get in here. And we are now today on our way to chick 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 chick. So this is Chesapeake Bay. And we're on our way to Annapolis. Not for the boat show yet. We're just going to suss it out. And then... So the idea is, is that we need to get as far south as possible. Because we have an appointment with Just Catamaran. So we need to be there or miss the, the spot, the slot. And um, you know, get some stuff done again on, on Sisu. And... For that we're just going to go now and check it out and then leave for not we, we're going to go down the coast south as far as possible most probably even ending up in fort lauderdale before the before the show um, or try to get our boat hauled out sorry there's a couple of lobster pots here or crab pots as they call it and you know it's very very narrow so i need to quickly make some adjustments so if we can go there that would be safe it's very narrow <laughs> and then i put crab <laughs> crab pots like, mm, like let's let's put it in this narrow channel that is where the crabs is going to be because we haven't caught those crabs yet the ones in the in the passage in the canal So all the crabs that hasn't or that haven't migrated to the shallow sides, let's catch them right here in front of the, of the boats. Okay, it looks like it's going to be nice windy. Over there it looks like some wind. So we're going to sail. I think we're going to sail. Right, we are sailing with just a Genoa up. It's a little bit wonky because we got some side swells, but it's not much that we can do because we're still here in a very... There's 3 meters, one, that's 1.8 meters and there's 1 meter, so we are... And this is point, a quarter mile in between, so it's... From there to there is not even a quarter mile. So it's very narrow. And then we have all these crab pots here in between. 
So it's not that we have a lot of maneuverability to reduce this. Um, but we're doing 4.6 knots and it looks like 13 knots of wind of just the Genoa. Maybe we should have raised the main while we can, but I was not sure we can handle the main in this narrow narrow and skinny waters. If we do eat a sandbank <laughs> with a main sail up, we're in trouble. So I would rather keep the main down and it's easy to depower that and let it go and fill it very quickly but the main you cannot drop that easily. Um, especially not if the wind is from from behind or oh, beam reach uh, to broad reach because then it means the boom is out like that you need to turn completely around to drop the main and there might just not be enough room for example over here if we need to go upwind look we will be right into that sandbank even before we know it so um, I'd rather keep the main down for now and let's just get out of this channel. I think we still need maybe a few minutes and then we can go on our track that we did yesterday. Passing under these two bridges on our way to Annapolis. We are just anchored here outside Annapolis. Or in Afrikaans, we will say Anapolis. And we are going somewhere there, I think. So we are in Annapolis. And we are up some other creek. There's so many creeks here. Off to celebrate a birthday. But it seems like there's quite a lot of sailing schools around here. We saw a Leopard 45 there, the Leopard 45 is. And this dude just tacked here right in this little space. So we are bailing water because someone forgot to plug the picks when we left. We, not and someone. We don't, know, we don't know who that someone was. But guess who's bailing? So the captain should kill all that person. <laughs> that, three, that, that crew. <laughs> but we're the only dinghy here on the dock. This is so cool. And there's a private dock. Trespassers will be shot, I think. We are on our way right there. How fitting. It's the captain's birthday. He hates walking, so it's literally 20 steps and we're going to be there. That's a good so place to have a beer. Perfect. No okay. hard labor involved. Nothing. Not, no labor on my birthday. But I ordered it this way. I planned it this way. <laughs> it seems I, like it, when it I, rains, it goes all the way there. Yeah, so it's, the high tide is very high, dear. Oh, there's even fish Ew. that didn't make it. Okay, so we're off to Dave's, Davis's. And we're going to yeah. meet people here. 